Yo, what's good guys, Theo here. Uh, so I want to give you a rundown of my implementation of a JavaScript queue. Um, a JavaScript queue is a data structure pretty popular, um, popularly known for uh, being a first in, first out data structure. So what that means is think about uh, perhaps a line of people. So maybe you have a bank teller and they can only serve one person at a time. So you say you have one here and uh, so on, right? You're gonna have two and uh, you know maybe a third person. So what's gonna happen is this first person is gonna be served and um, then second person is gonna be served and then finally your third person is gonna be served. So first in, first out data structure, that's why it's called that. Um, so let's go ahead and implement our queue. Say function Q, and uh, it's going to have two properties. It's going to have a head, which is going to point to the very first item, and it's also going to have sort of a data store. And I'm just going to make this. This is just going to be an array for us. And uh, so let's go ahead and try it out. So Q has uh, three main functions. It has an NQ function, which allows us to um, you know add an item onto our Q. This is like a push. And uh, so, you know, JavaScript pretty much already supports most of the operations of the queue, but it's nice to sort of understand what's going on. So I'm going to access the queue's prototype. Let me see if I can spell right. Q.prototype.nq. Um, and this is going to be a function. It's going to take in a value. And uh, all we want to do, we just want to say, if there's not a value, let's go ahead and just return. Please submit a value. Um, else we're going to say um, this dot data store dot push value and we're going to leave the head as is um, next up what we can do we can do q we're going to do our uh, dq function which is just going to remove uh, this first element if i can spell that right dq um, and this removes the first element, first person in line. Okay. So because and because we already have this store st uh, started at zero, you know we don't need to update, update that. So I'm gonna do q dot prototype dot d um, q. It's gonna be a function, and all that's gonna happen is I'm going to do. Um, let's see. I can either return a new array. Or, um, so maybe I'll do that, but, uh, or I could use the JavaScript unshift and we can move everything over. Or, um, I'm trying to think how else I can sort of do this. I guess I could do, um, let's see, maybe I want to do this dot data store dot slice. Or first we need to check if it's greater than one if this dot data store dot uh, length, let's go ahead and one. Let's go ahead and return, or do this dot data store dot slice. And we want to take out um, one, or actually let's try splice. Uh, we want to take out one, and then this is going to be, we want to start at zero, take out one, and then I think we want to go until this dot data store. Actually, no, yeah, we want to start at zero, take out one, and then let's go ahead and return this stuff. data store. And then we have one more method, which is a peak, and this is just going to return to us the head of our queue. Okay, so I think I still spelled that wrong, but whatever. So queue.prototype.peak, this can be a function. And this is just going to return to us this dot data store of head or null. And so here, let's edit this. Let's return this dot data store. And so let's go ahead and implement our queue. So I'm going to do var queue equals a new queue. Let me see, make sure we're not getting any errors in our console. So I'm going to do console.log queue dot nq. I'm going to pass it five. And why is it telling me it's undefined? Because I don't think we're actually returning anything. 
Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and return this dot data store. So five. All right. Uh, let's add on a few more to our queue. I'm gonna add on 10, 15, and let me try and DQ real quick. I'm gonna call it DQ and uh, make sure this works. I think I spelled it wrong. DQ. Okay, cool. So now we've DQ'd 15, and we get back 10 and 15. Or sorry, we've DQ'd, so it removes the first one. If I call DQ again, we're gonna get back 15. And if I call it, let me get rid of these console.logs. If I call it one more time, um, let me call it console.log q.dq. Then I should just get back 15 as well because I just wanted one element. We're not splicing anything. Um, and let's implement one more method. This is just gonna be is empty. You know, maybe it's like a helper method q.prototype is empty. It's gonna be a function, and you know, let's just return this dot data store dot length is greater than zero. So let's go ahead and sort of ask, is our queue empty at this point? So let's do console.log queue dot is empty, and it's saying true because our queue is indeed empty at this point because we've dequeued all of our elements. And let me see, queue dot is empty. Return this dot data store dot length is oh sorry less than one my bad so it's false now uh, but if we DQ one more it's giving us false why is that um, actually no if it's if we're DQing and there's only one let's just say this dot data store is going to be equal to empty array so now it's true. Um, okay, cool. So we've implemented all the methods of our queue. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. First in, first out data structure. And I will catch you guys in the next video. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care.